to tonight from Shiny Brewery based in Little Eaton in Derbyshire, a place I actually found. Yeah, a bit of driving around, but we did find it. Yeah, <clears throat> and I did actually find the tap room. So I actually bought this from the tap room. Lovely little tap room. Make sure if you're ever in that area, go visit. Go and have some beers, take some, get some craft beers as well. Beers on ca keg, cask and in the fridge. So well worth going down for a visit. They've also got, at the moment, over at Brew Day Supplies, um, an all-grain beer kit. So, uh, ooh, rose form through my finger. It hurts. Yeah, they've also got an um, all-grain kit at Brew Day Supplies. Big hitting kit. Um, I've got some pennies in the bank. I might go and get it. Uh, I do need to do some more grain brewing. I do need to have my second go at it. All that. I do fancy doing it. Um, smells bloody lovely. I do fancy doing an Imperial, but that's just me. So they've, all, they've also done recently, uh, Shiny Brewery, is a collaboration with Nottinghamshire Craft Beer Superstars. I mean, they are these days. They're absolutely bloody everywhere. At Neon Raptor. So, um, oh gosh, I think I'm at that stage where I'm gonna have to have a look at again some bloody glasses. A fresh blend of new season hops on a fluffy bed of oats and extra pale malt, Citra, Sabro, Idaho 7, and Cashmere hopped and dry up throughout Dipper. And it is, you know, you do, I did, you can smell the coconut, but it's a tropical fest of a beer. Certainly looks the part. Look at that. Never mind my crap, but, but look at that. Beautiful. And this glass, it just shows it off beautifully. Look at that little eyes. Yeah. Look at the little eyes. Who knows? Oh, juice bomb absolute juice bomb tropical juicy smooth oh do you know after after i've had a crap four days where i felt like utter rubbish still feel rubbish now and it's it um I started coughing last night, and I don't know if anybody else out there, when they cough, they just can't control it. And, uh, oh, God, got to the stage where I'm like, no point sleeping. I might as well stay up all night, watch TV downstairs, and before I go sleep, you know, just to save myself from coughing me guts out. But uh, luckily, in the end, I actually did manage to fall asleep. Although I was clenching my teeth together not to cough, which I'm not sure helped either. But yeah, last few days, it's, uh, it's, um, I'm sure that how you feel also affects you, your, 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 your mental health and well-being and all that, because I've, you feel, I feel like I'm on an absolute downward thing, and, uh, and, you know, I'm at work and things go through your head and you think, oh God, you know. And uh, I'm at work thinking, uh, knock, the, knock the beer reviews off totally, just get rid of beer reviews, you know, get rid of it, walk away from it. And uh, I, mean, I did mention this last night in a beer review as well. Um, I suppose in some ways, luckily these days, not a lot of people watching my beer reviews, so not everyone's seeing these comments. So, hey, hey. Uh, but in any case, um, yeah, so hopefully it'll, it'll, I'll snap out of it. tasting amazing um for those watching uh shiny brewery will be at derby bacon and uh there's so many beer festivals and that coming up and you know literally literally can't do everyone if i could even afford to do everyone 
then it's the time to do everyone. The Arbutan Beer Festival is a no because, you know, I, I feel no allegiance to the Arbutan uh, after 20 years of being there. Treated a bit poorly towards the end. And uh, yeah, I feel no allegiance to that place. Give my money down there to support any of it. Uh, not even, you know, one iota. So then, then there's the Derby's Beer Con. And again, it's just the getting there, the cost of getting in, getting there, and the cost of beers. And uh, obviously, it would have to be a Saturday because Friday would be tough to get there. So even though, hand on heart, I want to, in my mind and, and that, no. I mean, then I've got Robin Hood Beer Festival coming up in uh, October. And again, I have issues with camera and the way they are, especially Nottingham camera. Um, I really do. I, I, I had it last year, I had it before the Robin Hood last year, and then after the Robin Hood we had it, and it was like, right, okay. And, uh, you know, once you can ignore it, twice it's like, oh yeah, you got, what's your problem? And then third time you think, right, that's it. <laughs> and, uh, and so, uh, even though I'm going, I'm not promoting it or anything. Not like last year, we were saying, do a big meet-up and all that. For those that are going, I will meet up with them. For those that aren't, well, you know, it is what it is. I'm going on the Friday as per usual. It's my always my usual day, the Friday. That gives me two days to recover before we go to Octo um, before we go to Yorkshire and a lot of boozing. Absolutely spot on. I've had some crackers from Shiny over the time. I did used to see him more on Adventure Bay at one stage, but um, I'm not sure whether Adventure Bay goes that way anymore or whatever happens, hap you know, happens like. Um, I know we did get some from Little Eaton, so maybe it's just timing um, as he's in that area. What I would say, if you go into Shiny Brewery and you live anywhere between Nottingham and Derby, avoid the A52 like the plague. Awful road. Um, God awful road. Now look at that. That's looking really good. Head's a bit smaller. Good carbonation. The nose is just, oh, it's just lovely. I could drink, I could session on this. A long day at work as well. A really, really good session. Oh. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, comparable with any of the... Um, Dippers from your likes of Cloudwater, Verdant, and all them other breweries that have got a big hype name behind them. And then also local breweries that have got a bit of a hype name behind them. So, you know, well worth a try. Um, if you see Shiny Brewery about, they're a well-known brewery, mind you. I actually thought, I had this vision that the tap room was actually going to be bigger than what it was. And it was actually... Um, I wouldn't say small, but it's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. It's funny how you get a, me a mental interpretation of the tap room. And maybe I looked at a photo and it just by the camera angle of the photo, it just looked bigger. Unless it was rammed and you look and you think, Jesus, lots of people there. Um, yeah. So really enjoyable certainly at the spot um like i say i've actually got another one of theirs as well trip hazard and that's a 5.8 percent ipa um we'll be getting more the good p 
people at Kimberley Craft Ale is a bit more local to me. Uh, I've been having shiny brewery beers in, so that's great. You know, it's great that they're they're creating quite a name for themselves, going out to the local breweries, picking the beers up, and uh, you know, it's lovely for them to do it. Um, I've always got this thing where I try and keep away from people's breweries. You know, I don't want it in, in you know. You do a beer review and you don't want to, what's the word, impose yourself anywhere. And then there's always the risk that someone turns around to you and says, what are you doing here? Yeah, you're not. You're not a buyer of, well, you are in some ways, technically. But uh, you're not a shop, a retail, shall we say, or media. Um, yeah. I suppose that's one of the reasons why I've never even attempted to get that so-called press passes and all that sort of stuff early at e you know access for trader access that's the one i meant to say yeah mm -hmm. and I've never really regarded myself that aisle um so something like something walking across the room the problem with being in the shed, you do get that at times, yeah. So when I get big footsteps on the roof, that I'll really panic. Oh, absolute beautiful juice fest of a tropical beer. Coconut, pineapple, mango. There's a whole horde of flavours walloping at you. It's absolutely spot on. Um for me at a five a good point 4.5 out of five a really bang on refreshing dipper thank you for watching and uh, please check these guys out cheers all see you soon